Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. Um, this is going to be a quick little mesh mixer uh, tip, which you may or may not know. Um, if you can see on the screen here, you might have seen a lot of models on Thingiverse or various other sources like My Mini Factory that have built-in supports that look like this tree structure. A lot of people wonder how they do that. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but I mean some people know it and some people don't. So that's going to be the purpose of this video. I'm going to show you how to do this tree structure on pretty much any model. And you can do customized supports without Simplify 3D. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is fire up Mesh Mixer. This is a new feature that they've put in since version 2. So we'll import a model. Um, okay, this one... I know it needs support, so we'll load this model in. Now hopefully this will be um, printing out on my um, my modus printer over here. So hopefully I'll be able to show you this print in a couple of days. This is a Hitman model, which I found on Thingiverse. So first off I need to uh, align this with the ground plane. So we will bring this up, transform up. Uh, I'll turn on enable snapping and that should allow it to snap to ground level. There we go. Beautiful. Now this is going to need a lot of supports because you can see here that the arms they're going to, uh, that, that overhang is just far too much. Um, if you see in here the jacket that's printing out in midair. The eyebrows probably won't work. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot on this model which which needs to be supported. So I mean, you can do it in Simplify 3D, as as a lot of people know, or um, just the stock standard add supports feature that comes in most slices. But this allows you to have a lot more control, um, even more control than Simplify 3D. So over here on the left hand tab, the magic all happens under the Analysis tab. So we go to Analysis and then we go to overhangs okay so in here the blue and the red sections are telling you which parts are going to need support so that are, well it, the overhangs are too great for what the angle threshold is that I've set so that's set to 35 degrees um, I can probably crank that up a bit to I don't know 50 degrees With decent cooling, you should be able to get up to about 65. Um, and then basically, if you just want to use the stock standard settings, press the Generate Supports button. Now that's going to generate the tree-like structure of supports that come up your model, rather than the Simplify 3D, which is just a grid of blocks coming up. Um, the issue with doing the prints uh, the supports as a, a fine grid is that a lot of the time you're going to need to print a raft as well otherwise they're not really going to stick to your bed properly or the nozzle will just knock them off during a print which is pretty friggin annoying so doing this method it actually uses much less support material because it's directed to where you need it so you can see here with this model these are the auto settings. It's picked out all the overhangs in the red. And then instead of just having, um, actually I'll bring up a screenshot of what Simplify 3D will do. So here is what Simplify 3D is gonna give you if you use the auto supports. So you can see these sections over here on the left and on the far right are just a single thin column of support. Now because that's just such a high long column, that's going to be easily toppled by the hot end or just movement of most um, Cartesian or RepRap printers. Um, versus this method, which puts the supports in tight close to the model and a tree-like branch structure which comes up the face. So this is much less likely to topple. And if you look at the very bottom here, oh, sorry. You see where the supports actually start, it puts a, like a, uh, what do they call it, Mickey Mouse ears, 
on Prince to stop them lifting. It automatically does that on where the supports touch your build plate. So it's going to be a decent area of contact and it's not going to flip off. So, I mean, the intricate detail of this branch web, and if you look in where the support touches, it's actually a, um, like a fine tip cone. So these should all break off no problems. And uh, over on the options on the left, we can fine tune this a lot. And we can also, if we wanted to, just do the supports 100% manually. We don't need to use automatic. So I'll do remove supports. Okay. So this is telling me, obviously, like I said before, the red areas need support. So uh, if we don't do the auto generate, we can just click and drag our first support down. If it doesn't uh, stick, it means that there's something intersecting it or it's not going to work. So, if we'll try and get one to stick. Right, maybe I'll start lower. Elbow, that should be an easy one. Okay, that's a bit of a stupid angle. I could probably just go straight down. And from that, after you've got that, you can do your intersections coming off the branch to the next spot that needs supports. Um, if you hold shift, it's going to ignore the restraints that will stop the um, that will stop the supports uh, going to where you want them. Um, so if I zoom in, there'll be a reason why that wasn't going to let me automatically without using the shift override. Probably, yeah, it's too close to the model. Alright, we'll try another one, straight up. Okay, that doesn't like that either. So if I hold shift to override, bang, there we've got our tree support. Okay, so on the left, you've got your advanced settings. So we'll go in there. Now your uh, um, which one's this? The layer height in here you want to have set to. Uh, here we go. The layer height you need to set that to the the layer height you're printing the model at, or you want to the model printed at. Um, you can also change your maximum angles. So change that up to uh, 60. Now this is just muck around settings. Don't just use these ones and that's it. Uh, you can give it more density or less density so less density will be less supports and more likely that you'll have some droopage issues. So if I go density, I'm going to go on the extreme, 10 and then generate supports generate supports. Because I only selected 10, it's going to do much less. Um, if you want to do a lot of supports, which is probably the better option, we will remove those, go to support generator and change the density up. And we'll put out 100 just to show the other extreme. We'll generate supports again, it will obviously take a lot longer, a lot more to calculate. Uh, in this advanced support menu, you can also change all of your um, the diameter of the, the tree branches coming up. You can change the cone tip. Uh, you can change every aspect of these supports. So I'll just wait for this to finish. Actually, while that's going, I'll show you here's a little test I did. So. Again, this is the Simplify 3D auto-generated supports. If you look on the top left, it's going to say, round it up, 52 hours and uh, 2.94 pounds of material. Now, if we import the one which I have auto-created the supports, you can see that the supports are much more directed to where they're required. The build time is down by uh, nearly two hours so it's two hours quicker and 
you are using slightly less materials. So yeah, the benefit is you're going to get supports to where you need them using much less materials or, or less materials and it's going to be faster. Okay, that's still going, so went overkill with the supports. And I'll cut back in once that's finished. Okay, um, that, that took a little while because of the density of the supports. But you can see here that that is ridiculously over supported. And that was using 100 over here in the support generator and the density. Um, so just have a play in here, change with your maximum angles, your densities, your layer height, as I said, that should be set to the layer that you're printing at um, of the actual model. You can change your post diameters, greater, lower, but I'm having pretty good success with the standard. Um, and yeah, uh, so when you're finished with this, I'll just show you how to export it out. So there's our model with our ridiculous overkill supports. Okay, so if we want to bring that into Simplify 3D or Cura or whatever you like, we go up to File, and File, Export, Hitman with Fixed Supports, and we want that as a binary STL, save. One of my objects being blah blah blah, yes I would like to continue, just do it, done. So, now we'll fire up Simplify 3D. That's the uh, standard model without supports. Delete. File. Import model. Desktop. Hitman with fixed supports. 948, yep, that's the one. And here is our model with all the built-in supports. So, especially for creators, if you can get your support spot on in Mesh Mixer, um, I think it would be very cool if a lot of people could update or upload a model with tested supports and also without supports. So people have got the option. Alright guys, um, that's it for now. Please uh, check out my sponsor, makersum.com. Their link and information will be in the description. Alright guys, thanks, I'll see you on the next video.